Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I'm going to tell you how to install this TBS Crossfire Nano Diversity Receiver onto your flight controller guys. As you know guys, this is PDB F7 mini flight controller that I'm using to make my Cine Whoop guys. In my previous videos guys, I've already done an unboxing and in-depth review of this TBS Crossfire Nano Diversity Receiver and it's all functions and features guys along with the wiring diagram. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. In my previous videos also so guys, I have already done the unboxing, review and assembly of this flight controller, this Cinevope, how to assemble the drone guys. If you have not seen those videos guys, I highly recommend to watch this video before going through this video guys. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So guys, before installing this T TBS Crossfire Diversity Nano Receiver guys, let me walk you through on how I'm going to install this guys. As you know guys, this Diversity Crossfire Nano Receiver does not comes with the labeling of the pin guys. So it is important to know which pin does what so as to be able to connect it properly guys. So guys, as you know, I am planning to use the full functionality of this TBS Nano Crossfire guys. So which is why guys, I am going to install it in a way so that in my future videos guys, I will be able to use the functionality and feature which is unique to this diversity nano receiver guys and i will be able to use the full functionality and potential of this nano receiver guys as you know guys it has a beacon mode and also you can connect an external power supply so as to be able to locate your drone guys if it is lost or guys you will be able to power your flight controller so as to be able to get the gps signal even when guys when your main battery power is used up or your main battery is depleted guys so guys this has a lot of functions and feature which this has to offer guys which i have already explained in my previous video so in this video guys i'm going to tell you how to connect this diversity nano receiver so as to be able to use its full functionality and feature so here you can see guys on to the bottom guys here you have six pins which i'm going to use today in this video guys so as to be able to use the full functionality and feature in my future videos for the peripherals which i'm going to connect it additionally on to the flight controller and onto this nano receiver guys so here you can see guys the uh, six pins that you have so as to be able to properly identify the pins guys as you can see here you have the bind button so the first pin from the bind button is your ground pin and then you have five volts so that is how you are going to power this up and then guys here you have tx and rx so as to be able to send the control signal onto your flight controller and then the Mavlink guys is the next last two pin which is your TX and RX which is going to connect it onto the another free UART of the flight controller so as to be able to have the Mavlink connected onto the flight controller so that the sensor information which is available onto the flight controller can be transmitted or be read by this flight controller even when your main battery power which is connected onto the flight controller is dead which is why guys you use Mavlink so as to be able to communicate between the flight controller sensors and onto the nano diversity receiver guys so that is how guys i'm going to connect it so let's quickly tin the pads and solder the pads so as to be able to connect it onto the flight controller before we do that guys let's quickly see the flight controller as well where we are going to connect these pins as you know guys, this is PDB F7 mini flight controller guys that I'm using onto this drone build guys. So here you can see guys, I have five volt T1 and R1, which is going to be your main control pins connected here guys. And then you have ground. So five volt and ground to power your diversity nano receiver and T1 and R1 for your main flight control guys and telemetry. And then you have T2 and R2, which is available as a free UART, which I'm going to use it for the Mavlink guys. So these are the pins guys that I have onto the flight controller that I'm going to use it to connect it onto my TBS Crossfire Nano Diversity Receiver guys. So these are the pins that I'm going to use on the flight controller. And these are the pins guys that I'm going to use on my radio receiver guys to connect it onto the flight controller. So let's quickly do that. So guys, let's start soldering. As you know guys, 
this nano receiver guys comes with the wire guys although these wires are of good quality guys but they are too thick to be able to install it onto my drone frame guys as you know i am making a cinewhoop so it does not have a lot of space to be able to manage this thick wire guys so i am going to change it using this thin wire guys so as to be able to connect these wires onto the flight controller and connect it to the nano receiver guys so that is how i'm going to do it let's quickly do that so these are the colored wire guys that i have so red and black is what i'm going to use to power and then guys i will be using other colors guys so as to be able to connect it onto the different ports that i have so guys let's start soldering so first let's shoulder the red and black so as to be able to power this up so my 5 volt is here guys so the first pin here is my 5 volt and then this one is ground that is what i'm going to use so let's quickly solder the wires so my 5 volt is connected guys let's quickly connect the ground this is the ground now guys let's quickly connect t1 and r1 so let's connect t1 to purple So my T1 is connected, let's connect R1 to yellow. So my T1 and R1 is also connected, let's connect T2 and R2. So guys let's connect R2 first which is going to be orange. my R2 is connected let's connect the last wire which is T2 which is going to be my blue wire so my T2 is also connected so my T2 R2 T1 R1 is going to be my two UARTs which I'm going to connect it onto my radio receiver guys which is TBS Crossfire Diversity Nano Receiver now let's connect the other ends onto the radio receiver guys so as to complete the build so guys this is my radio receiver let's quickly tin the ports which i'm going to use so first one as you know is ground then 5 volt and then this is the tx port guys which is going to go on the rx and this is the rx port guys which is going to go on the tx this is for your radio controls and then guys you have mavlink again the tx and the rx so rx goes to tx and tx goes to rx so that is how guys we are going to connect all the ports so as you can see guys i have successfully tinned all the ports let's quickly connect the wires so guys now that we have tinned the ports let's quickly solder the wires so the first one is ground so let's solder the black one on to the first port So the black is connected the next one is your red which is your power which is going on to the second port guys let's use the tweezers so as to be able to hold the wire properly onto its place so the red is connected as well so the next wire is your tx which is going to rx which is your yellow wire so let's connect the yellow onto its place so the yellow is connected as well and the next one is your purple wire guys So the purple is connected as well the next one which is your orange so let's connect orange onto the next port and the last one is your blue which is going to go on to the last pin let's quickly solder it so as you can see guys all my wires are now connected so guys as you can see my 
TBS Crossfire Diversity Nano Receiver is now connected. All the six wires are connected to my Nano Receiver guys. Two for the power, two for the control signals and telemetry, two for the Mavlink. So this is all soldered onto this Nano Receiver guys. In the same way guys, we have connected onto the two UARTs onto the flight controller, two for the power, two for the control signals and two for the Mavlink, which is also connected and soldered onto the flight controller guys. So here is my drone frame guys. Here, as you know from my previous videos, that is where I'm going to install the flight controller, guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this nano receiver onto the top of the flight controller, guys, so that it stays onto the center. And then I'm going to install it like this onto the top so that my nano receiver is there available onto the top of the flight controller so that I have the bind button accessible. And also these two antenna connector, guys, is available so as to be able to connect the antenna, guys. So that is how guys i am going to install this nano receiver onto the drone frame guys so guys as you can see the soldered wires are coming on from to the back side guys and then on to the front and i have put the diversity receiver guys here onto the top as you can see guys this is the connector wire guys connecting all the ports onto the radio receiver guys including your transmission port for crossfire and your mavlink so this is connected properly guys here and onto the top guys here you can see i have stick it using the dst so that it stays onto its place guys now guys let's quickly connect the antennas so here guys you have two antennas that came along with so let's quickly connect them onto the top guys so first one is like this just push it guys and it will get connected we'll do the same using the second one as well so as you can see guys i have connected both the antennas guys now let's quickly align the antenna guys so the first antenna guys that i'm going to install would look like this guys onto the one of the arm guys so as to be able to tie it up using the zip tie and then it will stay onto the place and it will be on the top side guys so it will not interfere with the propeller whenever i install it guys so this is also something really nice guys so here on to the second side guys i will do the same so that the antennas get installed like this on both the arms of the drone frame guys so that is how guys i'm going to install it let me quickly tie it up using the zip tie so here are the zip ties guys let's quickly tie them up so we'll put it like this from the sides and then hold the antenna together and we will insert it here and then quickly tie it up so here from the back side guys as you can see along with the antenna guys it is also holding the wire that is coming out of the motor guys which is also something really nice so that is how i want it to be let's quickly tighten them up so here you can see guys one of the antenna is installed let's cut that extra so here you can see guys one of the antenna is installed let's do the same on the other side guys so that is how i want to install so this is the zip tie and we will push it like this So this is tight enough guys and it is not interfering with the motor so that is how i wanted the zip tie to be on this side as well so let's cut the extra part so now guys my antennas are also installed and my diversity nano receiver is also installed guys so this is it this concludes this video guys in my future videos guys i will tell you how to configure this crossfire nano receiver guys and also how to connect the extra peripherals and configure this on this 
radio receiver guys and also how to bind it to the TBS crossfire transmitter guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on those future videos guys so this is it guys this concludes this video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies.